Hello, today I'll be presenting our work on image segmentation. Historically, probabilistic models with their likelihood and prior separation has had great success analyzing medical images. For example, the latent variable model shown in this slide has been used extensively in medical image segmentation. In the last few years, these models have been outperformed by discriminative CNNs. However, writing a CNN as a product of categorical distributions shows its incompatibility with the previous formulation. It does not fit the mold of likelihood and prior, as it directly models the posterior. In this work, we propose a new method for combining a prior with a CNN, more specifically a unit, hoping to achieve better generalizability and smaller models. We use a simple first-order MRF, but this could equally have been an atlas, a combination of the two, etc. To deal with the intractable posterior we get from combining the unit and the MRF, we use a product of experts model, which fuses the two distributions by taking their product and normalizing. As skipping some of the details, by making a mean field approximation, we get an iterative update scheme for the posterior over a segmentation. Uh, this di diagram shows the algorithm. Uh, an image is passed into the unit. The unit logit outputs are then fused with the current estimate of the segmentation. Uh, next, the segmentation is updated by mean field iterations. And finally, the cross entropy is calculated between reference and predicted segmentations. Uh, we validate our method on two public datasets of brain MRIs, MICAI 2012, which we use as our in-distribution dataset, and MRBrain S18, which we use as our out-of-distribution dataset. Uh, this means that the models are only trained on the data from MICAI 2012. Uh, for both datasets, we combine, combine their manual segmentation labels into gray matter, white matter, and CSF. Uh, please see our paper for train test, valve splits, and more details about this data. Our experiment then compares a baseline unit against uh, a MRF unit, uh, which simply is the unit with the added MRF component. Uh, and note that the MRF unit has an almost negligible increase in model parameters compared to the unit alone. Uh, for both cases, we fit six models with increasing number of con filters. Uh, we use leaky, leaky ReLU activations, uh, the Adam optimizer, and a fixed number of epochs. And since our datasets are very small, uh, we use uh, different augmentation techniques such as uh, nonlinear deformations, uh, noise, and intensity non-uniformities. And for the MRF unit, we use uh, 10 mean field iterations. And uh, we then compute die scores uh, after training. We then compute die scores between predicted and reference segmentations uh, for both baseline and the MRF unit approach. Uh, and again, note that only the MICAI 2012 dataset is seen during training. And here are the results of our experiments uh, as average die scores, where a statistical significance by uh, Wilcoxon signed rank tests uh, is shown by the number of asterisks. Uh, on the left, you can see the results for in distribution data where the MRF unit in blue consistently outperforms the vanilla unit model in red. On the right, we see similar results for the auto distribution data. Addition additionally, the MRF unit requires less parameters than the unit for some model configurations to achieve the same or better die scores. Uh, so to conclude, uh, we have proposed a, an approach for combining a segmentation CNN with, uh, with a prior, and in this case, we used a Marco random field prior. Uh, the MRF unit performs favorably compared to a baseline method on a brain MRI segmentation task. Uh, although one could uh, argue uh, that the importance of explicit priors uh, are not uh, that great, seeing that CNNs can learn these implicitly, we still think this is an important application, uh, especially in the limit of small data set and, and smaller models. And finally, uh, future work will extend this validation to data from uh, other domains. Thank you for listening.